we are working with GCI Great Coasters International, and they are replacing our track from the top of the lift all the way through to the brake station. So we have removed every piece of track all the way through from the very top until you come back in. The other major part we're doing is actually replacing all the trains on this coaster. So we're switching over to the GCI Millennium Flyers. If you ever were on this coaster before, you had individual cars that had two axles each and they followed each other around, which is not the smoothest ride. The new Millennium Flyers actually are two axle front car and then all the remainder are a trailer, which is what you'll find on most typical steel coasters. So that's one of the biggest changes. Um, straight up over here, this is actually what was considered what we called our B block. Um, if you know coasters, you have the block system for braking and everything. That actually is no longer exists. What we have done is we've eliminated the mid brakes in the middle of this coaster. So now when actually you drop off the first drop, you have pure speed, non-stop enjoyment, and the ride all the way until you get into the station. This is the exit route that our guests would be coming through uh, to get off the ride and then right out in the park. In this room, and you can feel free to step in, is actually the bottom of the lift. So you have your sprockets in here, which are completely changed for the ride. And then we'll step into this other room here. And in this room, you're probably wondering, why is it like this, that there's wood in the middle? And feel free, after I'm done, you guys will be able to step in. This is actually where we store our trains. We store one train at night in the station, and we store one train here. And what that does is this allows us an area to do a top side inspection on the train, and then a bottom side inspection on the train. The other train in the station, we have the same ability. We can do the top side and we can do the bottom side on the station, so we're able to do that. This coaster, we actually have three trains. Uh, the third train is not in operation at the same time. That one is actually cycled through, and we'll actually go back into our shop where we do the rehab on that. This track right here can actually support two trains with one in the station, so all three can be on the track, so when the rehab's done, we will actually be testing. In the morning, the rehab train will pull it off, leave it here during the daytime, and run the other two trains during the day. So feel free to take a look, and then we'll just step back out this way, and I'll take you guys down to show you some changes. So I mentioned the fact that we took the B block out, and part of that B block was obviously to reduce speed. Uh, coasters is all about track length is going to be basically burning off your speed. Um, the brake there obviously is not going to reduce the speed, so what we've had to do is actually change our profile of the ride. We've changed it prior to B block, and we've changed it after. To give you an example, in this particular area, if you look right here, you can actually see the brand new wood going across, and right below it, you'll see the holes from where the old ledgers went across. So we've actually raised this, and what that's allowed us to do is actually give you an air time right over here to the left. So it actually will be less of a drop, so it's not picking up as much speed coming off that B block, but yet we're giving you more air time as soon as you come out of this first drop. So you can see how the whole shift track has shifted up where we've done that on the reprofile file here. When I go over here, you'll be able to see how we've actually added banking to the right to make it a more dynamic right there too. Right here, you can actually see where the wood actually was. It's actually a good eight feet up. That we're actually there to give you that more air time. So we've actually put a, a hump right in the middle here to give you that air time. And then it's going right into a bank turn on the other side here. You'll notice right here above the steel beam just to the left that we have the high banking. And that banking that you actually see used to be a flatter area on this right. Same thing when you go up to the very top, and this will be easier to see, you can't really see the banking from where we're standing, but you can see where the clamps are, there's actually a ledger that's going straight across. And then off that same ledger, you see an angled one. The one that's going flat across, that was the old location. And then you can see the new one that's on an angle. That's how much we have actually changed it and done the banking on the right. So it's changed a lot. So basically it's like sitting there, if you had the freeway interchanges and they were completely flat, you'd be thrown against that side door. Well, by banking it, just like the overpasses are, it's more of a comfortable ride. You're in that upright position, not getting thrown. So that's what we've done on almost all of our turns, whether it's the helix here 
out to Beach Boulevard. If you look over there to the left, you can actually see that it's more on a bank because the fact you're actually looking through the track in those gaps there. But before you wouldn't have been able to see it because it was sitting there flat the whole time. So that get an overview of what we're doing on the right. Any questions anybody has here? Then I guess that's oh go ahead. Oh come on. Uh, yeah. uh, like, so so like this is the helix itself is reprofiled. Is that gonna help like it won't be like making the pile of sawdust? <laughs> That's also a part of the train okay. because of the fact you're adding the banking and the axles. Because when you have those tools, it doesn't want to yeah. follow true lower coaster, so all of that is going to smooth it back out. Yeah. So are you adding more of like the uh, the steel supports and stuff as well? No, actually, we haven't added any okay. steel. And okay. the reason why is you really don't want steel in right. the coaster. Well, yeah, because it doesn't flex. Right. Uh, we did have a point over here where there was the steel, and we've actually completely removed that steel. Okay. Because the old ride, if you rode it, you actually felt the hit yeah. on it because it stopped giving. So right. we've actually pulled that out. Awesome. So, so is it going to be a pretty close to opening day type ride? Like, yeah. oh no, like for to, like like. No, but, actually, we are really doing well on our schedule. I mean, but I'm talking about like 98 opening day. Like the ride's going to be as good as it was. Oh, we are hoping it's better. Oh. Our plan is. Better. I mean, it was in the top <laughs> if that's 10. If, it was my number one. So it was in the top <laughs> ten, and by what we're doing in these changes. We want to get back there. Awesome. Uh, Gold Strike, I don't know if you've ridden that. Yeah. When you get on, it's just pure speed till you get to the station. Right. And that's why we eliminated the B block and did those changes. So Awesome. Be great. Yeah, that's our... It's a lot easier to get to. Yeah, exactly. It's a lot closer well, we to home. 4,000 feet of track. You yeah. don't have many that are much longer. Right. So that is the goal is to get it in the top 10. The company that actually did a GCI, they did one back east that actually I think is at number four or five now. Yeah. And it dropped way out. So. Yeah, yeah. And then the other part of it is... The other question that comes up is why didn't we go steel and it's we wanted to stay authentic to wood still need a wooden coaster exactly. every park needs a wooden coaster that's what we wanted <laughs> any other questions anybody have um are the trains lighter than the they're about the same weight, same weight okay. yeah because we end up with the same speeds and same uh distance or i'm sorry time on the right of course so. it'll be a little bit different on the right <laughs> yes the exactly exactly and the experience will be a lot smoother and more just sit back and enjoy the ride Awesome. So, really looking forward to it.